But on Sunday, Mexico and the U.S. faced off in the final of the inaugural Nations Cup, the tournament that absolutely not necessarily because there is something called the Gold Cup, which is essentially the same thing. So why does North America need a duplicate tournament? Hmm? And even the design of the tournament pretty much ensured that the two dominant teams, Mexico and the United States, would play each other. It wasn't expected Belize or Trinidad and Tobago were going to make it. I wasn't sure if I was watching a soccer game or an Emmy-nominated telenovela. Just a lot of drama from start to finish, a lot of kicking and screaming. Yeah, around the 90th minute when the U.S. goalie made a goal kick, the crowd shouted that traditional chant that happens in Mexico that has gone on for many years. But the CONCACAF has been trying to root out homophobia in the tournament, so the referee just stopped the game, shrugged his shoulder, and said, hey, I'm going to wait until you stop. I'm just going to wait. And they actually waited five minutes with the time still running on the clock in the game. And if the crowd would continue, they threatened to stop the match, and have the match played behind closed doors the following day. They were not messing around. Now listen, I want to eradicate homophobia just as much as everybody. And whatever we can do to make people feel safe is important. But we also have to stop taking the American value of taking everything literally and applying it to another country where words have much less meaning. I'm sure when the opposing goal kicker kicks the ball, fans aren't making a comment about the person's sexual preference. They're just saying, hey, Guillermo Ochoa, with your fancy curly locks and your handsome face, we hate you because you played for Club America. I mean, think about it. This is the same place where people call their 70-something-year-old waiter Hoven, or a guy who loves cheeseburgers Flaco, or even worse, calling a human Pollo. Just because he hasn't worked out his legs in a while? People give a shit for the word pinche gringo. That's offensive. They say, oh, that's so offensive. Yeah, but you invaded Mexico like a hundred times. So I think we need to take a bigger breath about this and maybe pretend that they're saying photo. It'd be better. The fans were going nuts, throwing bottles of whatever on the players on the field. And one fan decided to disrupt the CBS broadcast of the game. Right. You see the celebrations signs in the crowd and he just gets caught with something there right there the game was marred by a lot of fighting by the two sides and there were two penalty kicks one for each side first it was the united states Pulisic! in the upper 90 in a match in which the u.s is and then something bound to happen just something was created in mexico Got its own penalty kick. Time a travel from this spot. And he's denied! Horvath! What? Unfortunately, it didn't go great for the Mexico team. The U.S. won the game 3-2, to two, winning its first Nations Cup, which caused zero Americans to give any shit about what just happened in that game or that tournament. Nobody cared. <laughs> 